alaikum wa rahmatullahi Hello everyone, today we are going to visit the uh, International Robotic Expo 2019 and this expo is one of the biggest expo in, in Japan. It has been held every two years and it's a good opportunity to see one of the leading robotics company in Japan and it's a good opportunity to know about the latest development in the robotics field. So let's go and see one of what are the latest technology in this field. Japan is one of the biggest producer of industrial robots in the world with more than 50% of the industrial robots in the world are made in Japan. Even the other 50% uh, that is being produced outside of Japan is being uh, developed and manufactured by Japanese uh, companies. One of the major sectors where we can use uh, industrial robots are the automotive industry where our robots are being used widely mostly for uh, painting tasks, uh, welding, which are very dangerous for human and it requires a lot of accuracy and, and slow motion. Most of the advantage for industrial robots are like high speed, high accuracy, very precise movement. So it can have a big effect in uh, lowering the cost, increasing the quality of the product. And robots are playing a major role in the Japanese industry which has been used in many type of uh, industries in Japan other like automotive like electronics and material handling and it plays a major role of like solving the problem of short of labor which is one of the biggest problem in Japan. There are many famous uh, industrial robot companies in Japan. One of the famous and uh, very old uh, companies is Kawasaki Robotics, which has been in this field since the 60s and considered to be one of the fairest companies that produce industrial robot. And it have branches all around the world. It has one of the high quality industrial robot in the world, very accurate, very fast and it's been used in many like factories around the world, especially automotive factories. Another company also in addition to Kawasaki is Fanuc, is one of the leading companies in this field. It have a lot of development in for industrial robot including like a robot for many application and also some artificial intelligence system that are being developed by Fanuc and one of its advantage or one of its leading uh, development is the biggest industrial robot in the world it can carry a load of up to 1700 uh, kilograms which is equivalent to a load of one uh, car it also could be used for uh, airplane assembly so you can see here it can carry a big engine also fanuc are have developed a collaborative robot a robot that can work alongside human it could be used in factories with high safety so you can see here that the worker can easily interact with the robot so it becomes like a supporter so in the past, mostly people think of robots as some kind of job killer. But now with this kind of technology, we can have a collaboration between human and robot. So robot becomes a supporter for human. And this robot is very safe. 
like you can just touch the, the surface which is covered by the touch sensor and the robot will automatically stop which is considered to be very safe for uh, human interaction One of the biggest innovation in robot technology is uh, robot Sawyer, which developed by Reth the company Rethinking, and it is one of the technology that considered to be a game changer in the robot technology. So this robot is actually could interact with a human and could learn from uh, human motion, and you can easily like teach the robot. So yes, all all you have to do is just move the arm and teach it how to move. And the robot will just will have to reprogram itself to make the same motion. So in this way, you, you don't need like a specialized programmer or a specialized engineer. You can easily teach the robot the task that you want just by only moving the arm and the robot will just uh, reprogram itself and just redo the, the same task as it's been taught. In addition like to the fixed uh, robot that we have seen before, now one of the latest development in the ro robot field is the mobile robot. So instead of having a fixed robot in one place, we could have a mobile base so robot could move from one location to another. And with the advantage of uh, navigation system and uh, object tracking system, robot can move very easily. So it has been used also in factories. So instead like of having the mobile of the robot to be fixed in one place, it could be on a mobile base. So it can move from one location to another location. And the advantage of this kind of uh, technology that we could have a changeable assembly line or production line. So in the past, most of the production line are fixed, but now we can have a changeable uh, production line. So you can produce different type of product in the same area. Also, it could be used for logistic that you can move any kind of object. So it, it's a big advantage for warehouses. So you can have use uh, mobile this kind of technology in any kind of warehouses. In addition to the industrial application, now robots are being used in different uh, areas other than the industry, such as like medical application. And currently also we are seeing a growing number of companies, especially startup companies that are developing systems 
for a service robot that could be used in other applications such as like uh, for like restaurants, cafe, hotels. And most of those companies are just startups. Some like could easily succeed. Some they struggle a little bit. And there are a lot of companies that could fail. But actually, we have a boom of the startup robotics companies around the world. Because of the great demand for robot technology, and we have, of course, industrial revolution. So we are expecting to see a growing number of startup, and people are trying to com to make to come off of with ideas for developing new robot <laughs> system for different kind of application, and it's all like going to be in the human environment. So robots are going to be in the society. Also, one of the application is a teleoperation system. So you can develop a robot that could be controlled from far away. And it's considered to be one of the advantage. Like you can send the robot to a dangerous area, such as nuclear plant or disaster area. We have seen a lot of companies in this expo. Some are like major uh, companies and some are small companies. And most of them are working in the industrial application. But actually there are so, so many companies that works in other like fields such as like education or uh, like service robots. Some of them are specialized in designing and developing hardware robots. But actually there are some other are concentrating on software development, especially AI and Internet of Things. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you would like to know more or watch more videos about robot technology, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and I hope to see you again.